guys and welcome back to the Home Automation X channel. So today I'm going to be telling you the top five things that you can do with the Google Home. Um, before we get into this video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click that bell icon so you stay notified because we do release videos on a weekly basis and we want to keep you guys updated. So the Google Home does the basic things like set timers, play music, um, set reminders, and um, what we're going to do is we're going to tell you our top five things. So our first one is multi-room audio, which is my favorite one because I love to listen to music. So you can set it up where you can have Google Play Music or you could have it connected to your Spotify. Um, you could have it connected to your iHeartRadio as well. And um, you can have more than one device connected so you can have your Google Home and you can also have your Google Home Mini connected. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the top right icon devices to view all of our devices here. So as you can see, you can see your speakers. Now we want to create our group. So we click on the top right and we say create group. Um, in this case, you can choose whatever speakers you want to add into that. Now we've already created our group here and we've named it everywhere. As you can see, we have both of our speakers connected. So let's actually test this out here. Play dance music everywhere. Okay, here's a Google Play music station called Indie Dance Party. Playing on everywhere. So even if you have 10 speakers, three speakers, four speakers, they will play everywhere to whatever amount of speakers you had connected underneath that group. So the second feature that you can set up with your Google Home is My Day, which tells you everything that you have happening in your day. Um, what you can do to do that is go on to More Settings, go into My Day, and you could have her tell you the weather. You can set it to Celsius or Fahrenheit. You can have her tell you your commute to work, and you can set that from your home address to your work address, in this case, Toronto. You can also have her tell you the meetings that you have coming up throughout the day or even any reminders that you have, like walking the dog or whatever. Um, on your way home from work or whatever you like, you can have the news set up for you. So you can either listen to the sports channel, you can even listen to CNN on your way home. Um, so that's another great thing. So now let's test it out. Tell me about my day. Hi, it is 2.29 p.m. Right now in Bradford West Gwillimbury, it's 36 and mostly cloudy. Today, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 37 and a low of 27. Have a great day. Here's the latest news from the SCORE Esports at 4.15 p.m. last Friday. What is up, everybody? My name is Keith Kaftik, and this is your February 16th, The Score Esports. And we'll save that for another time. So another feature is making phone calls. This feature I probably wouldn't really use on a daily basis, but I do find that the microphone and speaker quality is great, so the other person can hear me very clearly. Hey, Google. Where is the nearest Home Depot? The address for the Home Depot is the Home Depot, 470 Holland Street, West Bradford, Ontario, L3Z082. Hey Google, call them. Calling the Home Depot on Holland Street West in Bradford. You can also call a specific number. So let's try this one out. Hey Google, call 416-967-1111. Calling 416-967-1111. Thank you for calling Pizza Pizza. It's our pleasure to take your order. Unfortunately, we're not ordering pizza right now. <laughs> Number four, Chromecast TV integration. So we actually have our Chromecast connected to our TV and that way we can control whatever we want to do with it. In this case, I want to turn my TV on. Turn on my TV. So when she turns on the TV, you'll see it's going to resume back to whatever channel you're watching last. In this case, I kind of want to watch some YouTube, so... Hey Google. Play Home Automation X Pingini Pro on my TV. 
Sure, playing Home Automation Pinjimi Pro from YouTube on my TV. Now let me show you how to determine whether your door is a left hand. Awesome. Or okay. Hey Google. Pause. So Hey Home Automation. How can I help? Hey Google. Pause. So you can also watch your favorite TV shows. Your in this case, I kind of want to watch some Netflix. Hey Google, play Black Mirror on Netflix. Sure, Black Mirror from Netflix. Playing on my TV. So the cool thing about this is that you don't have to get up to get the remote to tell to pause the TV or to fast forward. Google Home will do everything for, for you. Um, in this case, it's loading right now. So, hey Google, forward 30 seconds. So for 30 seconds, hey Google, turn on volume 50%. <laughs> so it increases your volume for you. Hey Google, mute. <laughs> hey Google, mute. Also mutes. We're just going to pause it for a little while. Hey Google, pause. Awesome. Number five, our last one, is home control. We can have Google Home control all of our smart devices in our home through our SmartThings hub. So we can actually control our light switches, we can control the lighting, we can control um, the outlets, we can control our blinds, we can also control our thermostats. So let's try some of them out right now. Hey Google, close blinds. Sure, turning the master blinds off. Hey Google, dim family room lights 30%. You got it, dimming eight lights by 30%. Um, let's change the thermostat temperature. Hey Google, change thermostat temperature 71 degrees. Sure, setting the thermostat to 71 degrees. It's too hot in here. These are my top five favorite things to do with Google Home. Please let us know in the comments below what your top things are. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, on Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe. And please check out our website, homeautomationx.com. Goodbye.